Y'all, what a week. So many emotions I went through this week. It is insane. I've been sad. I've been mad. I've been hurt. I've been frustrated, confused. Just so many different emotions I've had this week. I think the craziest part of everything that's going on in our world with Black Lives Matter is that we've been trying to get across this message for years. I would tell people Black Lives Matter and they're like, nope, I don't believe that. <laughs> All lives matter. And just the irony in that statement, I hope people can hear when you don't believe Black Lives Matter, but you believe All Lives Matter. So we're just not we're not in that category like we've been trying to say this for years and people haven't been listening and I'm I'm really glad people are listening now. I want to uplift black creators on YouTube that are just black female creators on YouTube that are changing the game. This video is in memory of Breonna Taylor. So I really want to highlight black queens in this space that I just admire and are completely changing the game. I believe representation and exposure is so important and that's how we will have more black people in this space. Part of the reason why I was able to get as far as I did in college and actually get a computer science degree was that later down in my journey I met a black professor. So I would go to her, Dr. Ebene, love her so much and I spent so much time in her office just because when other people, I'm not going to cry, oh my goodness. Whew. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. When other people would tell me to quit, she wouldn't. And ooh, mm, I'm not crying. On. When other people would tell me to quit, I had professors told me to quit. I had classmates told me to quit just because I was struggling. Like I tell you all, I'm, I've been, I struggled a lot through my career in coding. And some of y'all don't believe me. But it was very, very hard for me learning how to code. I wasn't understanding it in the beginning just because I was never exposed to it. And it just took me longer to understand it. And it's fine because I eventually did. But yeah, other people would tell me to quit. Dr. Ebene never once told me to quit. She always encouraged me. And that was exactly what I needed. And then later, down in my career, I actually met another black female um, coder. She was like, two or three years younger than me and her name was also Maya. Crazy how God works. And I could just talk to her about coding and tech in general and I was just like, wow, like this is what a safe space feels like. Like this is crazy. I can actually talk to her about my ideas and not feel dumb or like it's a bad idea or not be shut down. And she was so important to my journey as well. So yeah, I will be highlighting black creators in this space. So the first black female software engineering YouTube channel that I want to highlight is Maya Trends. So Little Maya is what I call her. So Little Maya and I, we went to school together and uh, she is just amazing. So she has lots of different videos where she like answers the top 20 computer science questions from Cora and in other videos of day in the lives of her working at Twitter, her working at Google and I just love that girl so much. Definitely check her out. I'm actually in one of her videos as well and she's part of the reason why I started this channel. When I met her I finally, I just needed a friend throughout my college journey and just having that support, her just being her was just so powerful so I was like I wonder if I could be that to someone else's journey. So I created this channel to show people that like you can do it. I struggled but just keep going and that I'm someone that will be there for you and I don't care how much you are struggling, how many classes you failed, you can do this. So yeah, so shout out to Maya Trends. She is a queen. So the next software engineering female black YouTuber <laughs> that I want to highlight is Scene Goddess. Now I am high key obsessed with her. I think on almost like every one of her videos, you'll probably see a comment of me fangirling because I just, I'm obsessed in a good way. And what I love about her is that she double major in I believe math and computer science. And I just love her vibes. Like I feel like sometimes they try to put software engineers in a box like you can only like coding like you that's what you are however I love that she is a pageant queen yes 
and she is also a software engineer. So I like just how multifaceted she is. And I just also like how she calls everyone friend in the beginning of her video. She's like, hi friend. And I'm like, hey scene goddess. And I just really enjoy her channel. She also talks about um, getting your life together, different productivity. And she just has a great channel. Highly recommend her channel. So the next software engineer, black YouTuber that I want to shout out is Meezy or Almezia, that's the name of her channel. And what I like about Meezy is that I like how, so basically she was working at a job that she was just like, meh, I'm not really feeling it. So she worked so hard, she did months of technical interview prep and she's now working at Microsoft. I think what's really special about that is that sometimes you see us just like put up a camera, start filming, and we're like, yeah, our journey was so hard. And it's kind of like, you know, you, some, you might not believe it just because we're saying it, but you're not seeing it. But what I really like about Meezy's channel is you see so many different videos about technical interviews. You see her going to coffee shops, preparing for these interviews. You see her getting problems wrong while practicing, but she just keeps going. And I just love her journey seeing that. I also love her vlogs. Her Afrotech vlog was amazing. Next time, when there is Afrotech, I am definitely teaming up with Meezy because she found all the great events and she has a great channel. We also collaborated on some videos. So we did a resume video that is on her channel. And then on my channel, we talked about how to get a software engineering job. So yeah, we have collaborated before. We're gonna continue to collaborate. Love that girl so much. So the next software engineer, black female YouTuber that I want to talk about is Ejema. So I actually met her at Afrotech. She was my friend's friends and she makes videos on JavaScript. So what I really like about her is that she actually has a lot of coding tutorials on her page because I know sometimes people want to like actually learn from black creators and I love how she has that on her page and she's so good at that. She has one video on like using logical operators in JavaScript and I can't remember what she specifically said but like a light bulb went off and I would always use it but I kind of didn't understand like under the hood how it worked and the example she gave was just amazing. So yeah, if you are learning JavaScript or you want to learn front end, definitely check her out. Her videos are amazing and thank you for all the teaching videos that you do. So another black female tech YouTuber that I want to highlight is The Vocal Journal. So we actually have a collab video, her, Meezy, and I, where we talk about our experiences at Grace Hopper and how it's also going to be virtual and like our opinions on that and whether you should go. So we have that video coming up on her channel. And yeah, just good vibes. She works at Apple and she actually has a video of how to get into tech without a computer science degree. So definitely go check that out. Such good vibes, great heart, really like her channel. So the next software engineer, black female tech YouTuber that I want to talk about is The Come Up. Now y'all, everybody knows about The Come Up. Like, what I really like about her is that I remember my channel, I was at like 100 subscribers, she was at like 500, and I just remember like subscribing to her channel. And then to see how much her channel has blown up in the past year, ooh, like I just, I love having goals. I love having representation in this space. And like her videos are so great. She talks about finance. She also talks about software engineering. And this makes you feel like if she can do it, I can do it. Just because like, of course I have goals for my channel, but it's like, I'm like, come on, how many people are really going to like, actually follow you <laughs> you know I'm just like I would never even think that a channel like mine could have like a hundred thousand subscribers and I don't know if it ever will but just having someone like that in that space that is succeeding is amazing to see she was featured on millennial money go check that out Patricia Bright one of my favorite um my lips are dry one of my favorite kind of like fashionable um, she does like makeup videos, YouTubers, Patricia Bright. She also talked about the come up and this good job, sis. Good job. 
I feel like she's like an older sister and just keep doing what you're doing. It's amazing. So these next three YouTubers I'm going to talk about, I recently found out about them and I'm so excited to binge watch a lot of their content tonight actually. So the first person I want to highlight is Nicole Young. So Nicole Young is a self-taught software engineer and what I really liked about her or the video I saw was her talking about being black in tech. So she talks a lot about her struggles of working at a startup and I just, it was hard to watch that video but definitely recommend to people just so you can see like what it's like. And yeah, she is a great voice in this space. She does front end development and I highly recommend her channel. So the next black female in tech software engineer YouTuber that I like is Samantha Pretis. If I'm saying your, your last name wrong, I'm so sorry, Samantha Brethis, and she's actually new to YouTube. She has about two videos up, and they are some high quality videos. Like my first video, bro, wasn't that good. Her first video has all of the like the different overlays, great music, like I just really enjoy it, great quality. She has videos like what programming language should you learn, um, how to learn to code for free. So those are the videos that she has up. Highly recommend her channel. I actually found her on Instagram first and now she's created a YouTube channel and I think that's so dope. Definitely go check her out. So another person that I want to highlight that is in this space is Rebecca Richard. Now I get a lot of questions in my DMs about cybersecurity and I do not have any knowledge and can't give a lot of advice about that just because that is not my expertise. However, if you are interested in that, Rebecca Richard is your girl. She has Day in the Life, so a cybersecurity student. She has Q&As. She talks about the different classes that she's taking in her major. Like so much help helpful information about cybersecurity so it can help start your own journey. So if you are interested in that, definitely, definitely, definitely go check out her channel. So that concludes this video. So this video is in memory of Breonna Taylor. May you rest in peace. And let's just make sure that as humans, as people, that we're doing what we can and we're doing our part. I will have everyone that I mentioned in this video in the description below. I'll also have ways that you can help donate or ways that you can help show support. So I'll have that all in the description box below. For all of the people that have showed support to my own YouTube channel, I wanna thank you so much. It is very hard to put yourself out there. I know for a while that I, I just, I was thinking about a YouTube channel, especially in the tech space, but I just, I wasn't confident enough. Have a great day, y'all. Please take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video.